race of a different kind, a race to find out if a rat's head really did end up in a man's chili at the Golden Corral restaurant in Cape Coral. And if it really happened, how did it get there? Four in your corners, Gabrielle Saran broke this story. She is live at the Golden Corral on Pine Island Road in the Cape with what both sides are saying about this tonight. Gabrielle. Patrick, Amy, the Golden Corral here is investigating these allegations. And just this week, the restaurant had a consulting firm pick up the rodent head. Tonight, the attorney representing the man who says he found the rodent head in his dinner says his client is still feeling the effects. Three weeks after 36-year-old Billy Wilson says he found this rodent head in his chili at the Golden Corral in Cape Coral, his attorney says his client still feels traumatized when he eats. Anytime he sits down to eat, you know, he's, he's a lot more in tune to what he's eating and inspecting all his food. That's what happened to this single dad who was treated the next day for gastroenteritis. But what about the gray rodent head that he believes is a rat with curly ears and a snaggle tooth? We actually had it housed at one of our homes. Until his attorney let the Golden Corral pick up the head, the company sent it to a lab for testing in a quest to figure out what happened. Yeah, we gave them the head, they put it into the dry ice, into their container, and then they signed the, the chain of custody, is what it's called, document to say that they've picked it up and they walked out. In exchange for the rodent, Wilson's attorney asked to see the surveillance video. That would not only show the area where my client was sitting, but also show the buffet area where the chili would have been put onto the plate. But he's still waiting on it. Due to whatever procedures Golden Corral has, that apparently it's not so easy to get those surveillance taped. That perhaps show images of the unforgettable night this once Golden Corral regular just wants to resolve. We have nothing to hide. We want to get down to the bottom of it and give Golden Corral every opportunity to try to make it right. And I reached out to the Golden Corral with questions. They include asking where its investigation stands and what those surveillance tapes show. In an email, a spokesperson replied, quote, we take the health and safety of our guests very seriously. While we cannot elaborate on matters related to potential litigation, we continue to investigate the situation and have significant questions regarding the events of that evening. And Wilson's attorney says he expects to have the rodent head returned to him in about two weeks. We're live in Cape Coral. Gabrielle Saran, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thanks, Gabrielle.